What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Right, today's video, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be showing you how to level a tank. So I've got this six foot tank behind us. Look how unlevel this floor is, look. The tank's rocking like mad. But I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need to level a tank. Obviously you're gonna need to get yourself a level. I've got a six foot level here. This is what I level doors with at work. I've got a two foot level there and I've got a a four foot level here. I probably won't use this one, but I've got it off the van anyway. So I've got my Stanley Fat Max ones. And you're gonna need yourself some shims. I've got all metal shims, which I use to level big sliding doors and bifold doors at work. Um, these are really good, uh, high quality stuff. We get them all machined up. But you can go out and get wood ones, you can use PVC ones, plastic ones, whatever you can find. Wood ones are pretty good to be fair. You can actually get a, a wood one which is sort of tapered off and um, you can sort of wedge it in there. So the first thing you want to do now, you want to check if it's the floor that's unlevel or if it's the tank stand that's unlevel. So here, I know for sure, check this out, that's the floor. <laughs> look at that, look. It's like, I'm going to say like 15 mil out, something like that. So what you can do now, get yourself some shims in the corner. I'm going to pop this camera up here, try and find somewhere. It's quite hard to film in here because at the moment because... Uh, as you can see, there's tanks everywhere. It's a massive mess, because I'm having to sort out. This tank's going there, so I'm struggling a bit, but let's set up the camera and figure out a place to put it. Okay, so the first thing you do now is gonna level your floor. I know this tank stands perfectly level, because uh, I built it and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's nice and level. Everything was 900, 900, 900. So it's all nice and square. I've just put a six foot level on the floor here and it's it's running out like 20 mil. What you're gonna do now, get yourself some shims, but I'll run about that sort of much. Put it underneath there. That is now saying near enough levels, put some more under there. Right, that is spot on level there. So, like I said, it's about 20, 22 mil out of level this floor. So we need to jack it up this side and also you can check on the tank here as well. So yeah, it runs out exactly the same as the floor. So that's the floor that's showing up that discrepancy. A lot of people say um, you don't have to level tanks because obviously you've got the polystyrene down here. Um, I don't think that's true on a tank this size. You know, this is a lot of water we're talking about here. So I want to get this completely level, but that is definitely going to help with the discrepancy of the floor. Um, it's going to help the tank settle in. Uh, it's it's going to help in loads of ways, but I'm personally going to level this sand properly because um, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of water up there. I want to get everything level, and you don't want a dirty old line that goes all the way down here on your tank when you're viewing your fish and stuff, you know. So you want to get this right. So what I'm going to do now? I've got myself a little bar here, this little super bar. I'm probably going to need something bigger, to be honest. And I've got myself a little um, a wind bag. We call it a wind bag. It's, it's what you basically do: you put it underneath stuff. It holds doors and stuff like that until we get a couple of fixings in it. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's worth a try. So let's start barring up this end and start getting some metal shims in. Now the wind bag's actually working, you can hear it creaking up. So that's taking it up like sort of 10 mil, so I need to go a lot more. But it's, um, it's getting me there, so let's put some of these shims in now, and then um, we can work ourselves back on it. Okay, so I've got some of the shims in the corner there, let's see how level the tank is. So it's still sounding to come a fair bit more. This floor is so unlevel in here, it's crazy. Let's get a few shims at the back there now, so we can start bringing it forward and that. Oh, this is not gonna show you a true reading until we start doing that. Now we're getting there now, so the bubble is just about on the line there. It's just touching the inside line, but obviously we wanna get it right in between the lines to get it nice and perfect, otherwise, you're gonna get that dirty line on here, your water line level, it's never gonna look right. Okay, so that is spot on level now. What we need to do 
is start getting all the shims tight in the corners and now you need to level this way as well, so you width ways. Well, that little pussy bar weren't doing the job, so I just went out to the van and got this big boy, which is giving me loads more leverage. But that is spot on level now, all the way across. Um, it's level that way. Um, I just got to level that way, and then what I'm gonna start doing is putting shims in the little bits. Let me show you what I've done. That's how it looks like that. So, as you can see, there's metal shims in the corner which brace along there, same with the back one. And then obviously we've got gaps under here now. Look, I can get my fingers under there. That's how I'll unlevel this floor is in here, it's madness. So what we're gonna do, obviously I've got loads more shims left here. I'm gonna start shimming all the way along, keep it nice and straight. And you don't want any rocks in your tank stand as well. So when you finish uh, leveling it, you want it to be nice and sturdy, everything needs to be nice and straight. See it rocking a little bit there because I need to start shimming the uh, centers and stuff. Let's quickly do that and I'll show you the final finish. Right, that's all done. I'm, I'm well hot man, it's hot in here. Obviously I've got my heating on and uh, I've been lifting up this tank and I with the levels and that. But yeah, let me show you what I've done, look. So I've braced each corner. This is how much we've come up so much look so it's tight in the corner there i'll put a two mil um plastic packer just in the top there because one of the bits of 42 has got a little bit of a twist in it so um yeah that's sorted out the discrepancy of that but we've got metal shims all the way across metal shims all the way across um it's gone up to the metal line hit um the middle line here and then the floor tape is back but yeah this floor in here is like yeah pretty bad i don't know who laid this uh carriage floor back in the 70s but um yeah, they need to go and get a new level, hopefully they're not doing it anymore. But that's all solid now. So what you want to do now is a little bit of a test. Just give the tank a bit of a rattle. It's nice and solid. There's no, there's no noise, no movement. Um, obviously once the water's in it, it's not going to move anywhere. Water of the weight is going to push down on the shims. Happy days, no problems at all. Um, we've got the polystyrene here, which is going to take up any tiny little discrepancy. You know, we've got 20 mil polystyrene but everything's spot on level. Let's just put the six foot level on the tank. Let's double check. Okay, so the six foot level's on the tank. All the way across. Uh, the camera's picking this up that well. But that there is spot on level. There we go, it's zooming in now. So it's bang on level. That's how you want to get your tanks, especially tanks this sort of size. You know, if I was, um, see this tank here, if I was putting this tank in my house, you know, I wouldn't really care about it because it hasn't got that much water in it. This one here, see how unlevel the water line is in here? This tank's obviously getting moved this afternoon. So we've got more of a gap here, less of a gap here. But with this much water in this tank, I'm not too worried about it, you know, no, you're not going to get any problems. This is bedded on polystyrene as well, which is around the back there. So I'm not worried about that. That's probably, I don't know, 200 odd litres in there. It's not like a thousand litres, which is going in here. So it's basically a ton of water sitting down on this unlevel floor. So we've done a good job levelling that. But anyway, let's stop going on. Just chatting crap as always. Um, hope you liked the video. Hope you... Um, You've learned something for it, hope you enjoyed it. But um, like and subscribe to my channel, ding the notification bell, and um, keep it real, everyone. Thanks for watching.